is me, your YouTube heavyweight champion of the world. I want to come to you guys live with my Monday Night Raw review. So let's get right into Monday Night Raw. To kick off the show, yeah, Chris Jericho, Braun Strowman, Kevin Owens. And Kevin Owens comes out and he talks about how he went through a grueling match with Roman Reigns at the Royal Rumble last night. He talks about how he went through hell and back and still retained his Universal Championship over Roman Reigns last night at the Royal Rumble. And then he talks about how Chris Jericho landed on how Chris Jericho lasted. Kevin Owens talks about how Chris Jericho lasted a long time in the Royal Rumble. And then Braun Strowman comes out. He goes, you know what, KO, you promised me a universal title shot, so tonight I want my universal championship title shot. Kevin Owens says, you know what, I'm not giving you your universal title shot. And then Mick Foley comes out and interrupts them. And Mick Foley says, you know what, KO, you did promise Braun Strowman a uh, universal title shot, so that match will happen tonight. And then... You had Chris Jericho versus Sami Zayn to kick off the first match on Monday Night Raw. This was a great match between Sami Zayn and Chris Jericho. I'm glad to see Sami Zayn get the first match on Monday Night Raw tonight. I enjoyed this match between Chris Jericho and Sami Zayn. This was a great match. I enjoyed it. These two put on a great battle tonight on Monday Night Raw. I'm glad Sami Zayn came out with a win, he hit Chris Jericho with a halluva kick, and he beat Chris Jericho tonight on Monday Night Raw, one, two, three, Sami Zayn beat Chris Jericho, your United States Champion. And then you had backstage segments with um, Stephanie and KO, you had a backstage segment with Mick Foley and um, Stephanie. Yeah, two backstage segments. To and then you had after the first after them segments after the match with uh, Chris Jericho and Sami Zayn. That you had two backstage segments, and then you had a cruiserweight match. You had Mustafa Ali against um, against Tony Nese. Tony Nese and Mustafa Ali put on a good cruiserweight match. This was another great match tonight on Monday Night Raw. This was a great cruiserweight match. I really enjoyed it. And um, Tony Nese ended up beating Mustafa Ali with a running knee into the corner. So Tony Nese picked up a win tonight on Monday Night Raw over uh, Mustafa Ali in a cruiserweight match tonight on Monday Night Raw. I hope Tony Nese gets a push. I would like to see him become the uh, cruiserweight champion one day. I think he will be a great cruiserweight champion as well. Tony Deese is absolutely awesome in the ring. That dude can go. And then you had a six-man tag. Bailey, Sheamus, Antonio Cesaro versus Miss No Man Gaines versus Luke Gallows and Carl Anderson. Bailey, Sheamus, and Cesaro ended up beating Charlotte um, Lou Gallows and Carl Anderson in a six-man tag. Bailey hit Charlotte with a Bailey to Bailey. Um, so Bailey ended up picking up the win for her team tonight on Monday Night Raw. So Bailey, Sheamus, and Antonio Cesaro beat the team of Charlotte, Carl Anderson, and Lou Gallows tonight on Monday Night Raw in a six-man tag. This was a pretty decent six-man tag. It wasn't the best six-man tag, but it was okay. Bailey got the win for her team. She hit Charlotte, Miss No Man Gaines with a Bailey to Bailey. So Bailey picked up the win for her team tonight on Monday Night Raw. And then you had a brawl between Neville and Rich Swan. I can't wait to see the rematch between these two. I think the rematch will take place on on uh, 205 Live. I think that's where the rematch will be taking place. I can't wait to see the rematch between Rich Swan and Neville for the Cruiserweight Championship. I think this match is going to be absolutely awesome. I can't wait to see the rematch between the two. And then you had a confrontation between Stephanie and Seth Rollins. You had a confrontation between those two. Stephanie talked about how they made Seth Rollins the man and how, you know, Seth Rollins turned their back on the authority 
and then he became nothing, and then Stephanie turns her back and tells Rollins, you know, Triple H will be here later on tonight, and he's coming for you. And then you had Nia Jax versus Sasha Banks. This match was stopped due to Sasha Banks being injured. They had to stop the match. So I, th I thought that was pretty cool. I don't want to see Sasha Banks get hurt bad. I don't want to see that. So I'm glad they stopped the match between Nia Jax and Sasha Banks because of her injury. I'm glad to see that. So that was good on the referee's part. And, and then you had um, Braun Strowman versus Kevin Owens for the Universal Championship. Roman Reigns came out. He interfered in this match. He hit Braun Strowman with two Superman punches and a spear. And then KO is inside the ring trying to get trying to recover. Roman Reigns sees it. And then Roman Reigns gets in the ring and he hits KO with a spear. So K KO goes over on Braun Strowman by disqualification because of Roman Reigns. He comes out and attacks Braun Strowman. And Kevin Owens eats a spear by Roman Reigns. So KO is still your universal champion. And then you had Triple H and um, Seth Rollins go face to face in the main event. Um, you know this was this was pretty cool. I like the promo by Triple H. He when he called out Seth Rollins, he talked about how he gave Seth how he gave Rollins the world and how he made Seth Rollins the man and how Rollins turned his back on the authority because of all that he because you know because of his injury and everything. He, and he talks about how Rollins thought the world revolved around him and the world didn't turn because of him. And Triple H says, you know what, the world did turn and it was without Seth Rollins. And then Rollins comes out and then Triple H is getting ready to fight him in the ring. And who other, who other appears and jumps the barricade? Samoa Joe attacks Seth freaking Rollins and then... Samoa Joe puts Seth Rollins in the coquina clutch and chokes out Seth Rollins. So Samoa, Samoa Joe chokes out Seth Rollins due to the hand of Triple H. I thought that was pretty cool. I like this segment. I like seeing Samoa Joe choke out Seth Rollins. I thought that was pretty cool. I enjoyed it. Samoa Joe looked like a complete badass. He choked out Rollins. He was the... He, he Samoa Joe was picked by Triple H. I thought I think that's cool as hell. I was glad to see Samoa Joe tonight. He was picked. He was handpicked by Triple H to take out Seth Rollins. So I thought that was pretty cool. And that's the way Monday Night Raw ended tonight. Um, if you like this Monday Night Raw review, hit that thumbs up. And if you like my YouTube channel, hit that red subscribe button. I really appreciate it. If you like my YouTube channel, hit that red subscribe button as well. If you are new to my YouTube channel, I know most of you are, go and hit that red subscribe button. Leave it down in the comments and tell me what you thought about Monday Night Raw tonight. I'm going to go 6 out of 10. I thought it was a pretty decent show. I thought tonight's show was pretty good. I mean... I thought there were some things I could have done better on, but I will talk to you guys um, tomorrow during my SmackDown Live review. We'll talk to you guys then. Thanks for turning back into my YouTube channel to check out my Monday Night Raw review. We'll talk to you guys tomorrow during my SmackDown Live review on my YouTube channel. We'll talk to you guys then. We'll talk to you guys later.